bring you to the Hoover A3060's last wash before she goes into storage and we get the new washer dryer in. I wonder what that could be. So I'm going to do the A3060 washing with a very special detergent. And you're watching Florence Ballard A3060 on film. Right, so today's uh, detergent, as mentioned in the update video, is a 1970s formula called Miracle Acto. Uh, this is the original Miracle Acto, because this is actually what the 1970s one was. Brings back so many memories, man, that of uh, 2018, because I remember going to Stoke on Trent and getting this. Um, my nanny still had the box that I gave her before we went to Australia. Um, I don't know what. She, she, she still had it about a few months ago. She, she got rid of it. <coughs> right, so we're going to do a load of bedding on a boil wash in the A3060 with this and see how that goes. Very suitable 70s detergent for a 70s machine. I seem to be missing a pillowcase. I don't know where it's gone. I'll probably find it at some point. So, there's the bedding. Duvet. Sheet and one pillowcase. That's the London Underground bedding, that is. Open that out. We're going to be using this for conditioner, Lenore Pop and the Secrets Mystery, the one that this machine smells of. I'll pop this open. I got it from eBay, I did. Because uh, Home Bargains used to sell this Mi Miracle Addo, but not anymore. So, oh well. What can we do? Just just like how Tesco Lost Baby disappeared. So I love getting to shake it in the drawer. I'm not going to use too much. Oh, I don't remember it being too sudsy, this one, so I'll just give it a... Yeah, that should do. I don't have any lime scale tablets. I mean, I've got to get some new ones tomorrow, so... I've got the conditioner going in later. Program C, selecting fast spin, and go. Enjoy. Florence fans. That is really hot water going in there, by the way, as well. No dryer. I'll do all that tomorrow morning. As far as I remember, this detergent doesn't get very sunny.
Here the uh, elements come on straight away, I think. Yeah. We're heating up to 95. You see, we don't, <coughs> you see, we don't really produce any salt with it, which is good. It rinses out very well. And we've reached what would be about 80 degrees, probably. <coughs> So we're near the end of the main wash and I was going to do some temperature checks. Just set the weird, oh, look at that. So we're about 80, we're going up to about 85 degrees there. That's hotter than we've reached before. So that is pretty much a boil wash by 1980 standards, you know, considering hot point we're doing 85 degrees. So that is over 82 degrees Celsius where it's sanitary to kill viruses, so 81. Oh, we're getting to 86 degrees. <coughs> See, with a towel wash, it takes longer for all the heat to get through the water. But something as light as bedding. Before it goes into the cool down, I'll quickly stop the machine and we'll get a record indication of what it is. So, Temperature that reaches. Let's see, 82 and climbing. Oh, eight, so 87.2 degrees. That is impressive. Onto the shuttle rinse now. It's interesting how this rinses out. What a blue. Dilution rinse level. Distribution drain. It's always the sheet that tends to ball up. Thank you. 
and First rinse. Almost full for the first rinse. advance them to the delicate tumble section. Right, first intermediate spin. I hope this balances. going to give us a dance for our last, our last time there. So we've had a just, just over two months in it. It's a peak piece, isn't it? I don't know how long it's been. That's been great having a look. Should we go join the Cassata and the 9530? Barbara and Sandra. This is going to be on back. Spin it down. Always said the bedding must get on balance.
Um, also on the final spin, I'm going to select the woolen setting so that we skip the first 500 RPM burst because we don't need that for bedding. I'm in a bit of yeah, time thing for the machine. Filled up, and I'm going to get the Lenore Path from the Secrets mystery conditioner ready to put in the machine. Oh, oh it went a bit curdled and gloopy there. That's what sat there for. Oh, she was drinking up the river Thames. Intermediate spin now. <clears throat> Balance, wow. I love machines that do distribution drains. Colour, colour of everything in the back.
Oh, I love that. Rat tap 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 tap. Oh, the shock absorbers. That's a far rinse now. With the circle line and the Waterloo and City line. Finish the final rinse now. That's not really good. There you go, you see. Uh, Reselect fast spin again. So now we're just going to do straight 500, 800, 1100. You don't, as I said, it's, it's a small load of, it's load of bedding. It's not going to obtain that much water. It won't be kicked out in the first three seconds of ramping up. So we balance. Come on, Florence, behave now. Not bad. Please don't go for a walk. No, it's gonna It's the last time washing in the house, so what the hell.
going to rumble when I'm 700. No drawing.
Sometimes unload. Or balled up a little bit. <laughs> okay, so there guys, that's uh, Florence's last wash on the channel, which she's gonna have a very nice long rest now. I don't know how long for, probably till the summer. Um, and then we're gonna have the, the washer dryer is meant to be coming tomorrow before I go to work. Well, I've just had a word with the courier. So uh, they're saying that they, they'll try and come here before I go, hopefully. Um, but I wanna take this machine to the shed tomorrow so that when they come in, the machine can just go straight in and sit there and have something to look forward to to come home and work to play with. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Um, it's always my favorite part because I never really do get new machines. I'm not someone who gets a machine like every month or so. I mean, the last time I actually got a machine physically to play with in the house was the Creeder, which was a massive disappointment that was. Spent most of the day trying to get the pump sorted and then only to find out that the bloody dryer didn't work on it, which was an absolute shame when that happened. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is gonna be good fun having a washer dryer that I know actually works as well, which is good, um, because not only has the, did the seller put it up as a washer dryer, they also uh, said that everything was working. I'm, I mean, had to pay for a courier, but hopefully the next one that won't happen because I should be driving. Or we can hope. So thank you to all the fans <coughs> who, of Florence, of the A3060. Um, she will be missed by people, but as I say, you've got lots of videos to keep yourself going with her. It'd be good to the start of a new generation with a washer dryer fully on this channel because washer dryers is what I actually prefer. I, I'm, I know that many people are against them. Some people don't think they're that good. To my experience, no. It's a good machine. The first load will be a load of towels as we always do, but we're going to make it white towels. Um, I've always said that for a washer dryer I do that. Um, so I've got some towels lined up. Might make them extra, extra dirty. We'll see. So you guys can sit tight and look forward to that. I hope she does come tomorrow. Thank you so much to everyone for watching and for all your kind words <clears throat> and getting me up to 5,000 subscribers. After all, this is going to be the 5k sub video. <coughs> We're also going to have a brand new intro. So I'm working on that. Uh, we'll probably film that once the washer dryer comes in. Or well, I'll add the intro and then we'll add the washer dryer in. So the 5k sub video will have this old intro because we can't put the washer dryer in that like I did when I got the Cassata because that kind of spoils it. So what we could do a surprise with it wrapped up. Um, but yeah, I won't be able to play with the machine before we go sadly, but if she comes, but hopefully. Anyway guys, so that was the A3060 doing the final wash with a very fitting 1970s detergent. Um, if anyone wants the link for that detergent, just let me know. Just put, or just type in miracle, just type in miracle acto washing powder. And you can buy it on eBay in different sizes, or Amazon as well. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and don't forget. to... Oh, hang on! I said I would show you my phone case in my latest video, uh, last video. So as you know, I have got <coughs> an iPhone 12 mini. Yes, that's my background class. 317 and 455. Um, but it's, it's actually in a blue colour, which is my favourite. Let you see, I've got blue, that's my favourite colour. It's designed very much like the iPhone 5 and SE, this is why I liked it. It's got that flat design. I have a shockproof casing, and I made this because on the back I have Florence Ballard there, as we all know. But you don't, if you don't know who that is, that's Simon the Bond. He is the lead singer of Duran Duran. Because uh, I'm a Durani, I'm a massive fan of Duran Duran. Um, Shame I can incorporate any of their music into my channel, but it means that it would get, com uh, it would get copyrighted. For those who don't know who Duran Duran are, if you must know the song "Hungry Like the Wolf," I've often posted it on my Instagram and whatnot. And um, Rio, Girls on Film, The Reflex, and any James Bond fans will know that they did the 1985 "A View to a Kill" uh, theme song, the intro. Simon Le Bon, Nick Rhodes, Andy Taylor, John Taylor, and Roger Taylor. They were the rival band to Spandau Ballet. If there's any Fandals that watch this, yes, agree the same way. <laughs> anyway, guys.
Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to stay safe and keep it supreme and go with the flow.